Is the Fear of God Essentials Stretch Limo Hoodie worth it? In this video, we're gonna figure that one out. Hey everybody, I'm Actress, and welcome back to the only channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and streetwear, and today, we're going over this hoodie. Fall time is coming up, and more and more people are buying this hoodie, so let's go see if these hoodies are worth it. Before we unbox this bad boy, be sure to like and share for that YouTube algorithm, as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Now let's go over this hoodie. First off, Essentials bags. I really love these bags, man. This came in a really nice kind of clear black plastic. Good quality plastic too. It's not like really thin where you can poke a hole through. It's actually really good. It says Fear of God Essentials right there on front. Normally it's like a Ziploc, but I think mine broke. So I'm just gonna pop this open and take off the hoodie. Unfolding this bad boy and whew, I even tried to size down on this one and it's still pretty huge. So yeah, here's the Fear of God Essential Stretch Limo Hoodie. So basically some background information. This came out June 15th of this year, 2022, with the retail price of $90. Of course, since then, these things have been sold out and on the rise of popularity for this fall winter season. Figure out if this hoodie is worth it. Let's go over some details on the styling. I had to turn up my brightness on my camera so you guys can actually see this hoodie. I mean, it's so deep black. Almost like a void in some lighting, man. It's actually kind of crazy. Hope you guys can see it, but on the top left chest area of the hoodie, we have the first logo. It says Essentials Fear of God. And this one is kind of different printing. It's kind of like stamped on there with some fabric. Very interesting. Kind of wish they went with like their 3M reflective material, but this is also really nice. Also in the front of the hoodie, we got a little pouch. So you can store your stuff in there. And one thing to note on essential hoodies is the stitching is really nice. The stitching on the pouch is really done with some cool details on the side. And even for like the arms, I mean, look at that. Really nice seams for the arms. Even for the hood, and this hoodie does obviously have a hood. There's a stitch on the back of it to get some structure to the hood. There's a really dope rubber plaque also on the top of the hoodie that reads out Essentials Fear of God. Also upside down, so I guess when you have the hood off, it reads upright, but when you have it on, it says upside down. And then coming to the back of the hoodie, something really nice. Not a lot of Essentials hoodies have this, but there's a, another Essentials Fear of God logo really big on the back. Also done with this kind of like stamped on fabric. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. I know this hoodie is really freaking black. <laughs> this hoodie also has some really neat stretchy parts at the end of it. So it kind of holds on to your arms a little better. Even does that for the bottom of the hoodie so it hugs you. And then rounding off some stuff on the inside we have a tag. It is a tan Essentials Fear of God tag. And here's my little stock X tag too to show you guys that this is a real hoodie. We have another tag on the bottom of it for the sizing. This is a size S and it's made out of 80% cotton and 20% polyester. Also on the back it tells you how to wash a hoodie which is really nice because a lot of people don't really know how to wash like the really nice streetwear clothes. Hand wash cold with light colors only non chlorine bleach when needed flat dry do not iron. And then the last tag, so I don't bore you with more tag stuff. Another Essentials Fear of God tab. And another plastic one that just says men. But don't worry, women can definitely pull off this hoodie too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's really it for the styling, man. Just a really freaking black hoodie with a lot of black logos. So let's go and uh, see what this looks like on body. All right, so I'm right off the bat, this hoodie is really freaking comfortable. Like it feels really cozy and it'll for sure keep me warm. And I did size down, normally I'm a medium, and I size down to a small because I know essentials are really big, and this fits a lot better. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to go for that oversized look and go true to size, or you guys can size down and have more of like a slimmer fit. For sizing reference, I'm about 5'10", 170 pounds. Yeah, so here's what the hoodie looks like on front, just give you guys some beauty poses. Alrighty. Yeah, seeing this hoodie more and more on me, I think I actually might keep this one. This is pretty nice. Here's what it looks like with the hood on. Pretty cool. Something I like about black hoodies is they go with absolutely everything. I'm just wearing a normal pair of just blue jeans and it looks quite all right. You guys can spice up using different kind of bottoms if you want. Maybe go with earthly tones to kind of match like the essentials theme, but I like keeping it chill. And now this is what the hoodie looks like from behind. Pretty nice, I really like how that big logo looks on this once you guys actually see it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And this is what it looks like from behind with the hood off. Just in case if you guys were wondering. So yeah, what kind of shoes I would wear with this hoodie? Well, 
pretty much any shoe. Normally for essentials, I would say keep to like your Yeezys, like your foam runners, your slides and dunks. But this one is just really clean and simple. You could pretty much throw on any pair of shoes and it'll probably go with this hoodie. Once again, that's the beauty of just an all black hoodie. Just, it just works. Alrighty, so now you guys see what it looked like on body. It's time for me to give a verdict. So scale one to 10 on this hoodie. I actually really freaking like this hoodie. I'll give it a nine out of 10. This is a really dope hoodie, guys. You really can't go wrong buying this hoodie. And I would definitely say it's worth it, even the retail and the resale prices right now. I mean, what you're getting is a really nice and slick, comfortable, good quality hoodie. Now, I know you could probably could get a lot of cheaper alternative hoodies, and they might have decent quality too, but something about like the essentials vibe and everything is just super dope and I think that's what makes this hoodie really worth it. Last I'm going to talk about the future of this hoodie, where this hoodie is heading. Currently on StockX, these things are right around mid $100 range and I think they're going to go up. When that sweater weather hits, I swear to you guys, this thing is probably going to be like a $200 hoodie. And if they don't do any restocks, it for sure will go up. So yeah, if you guys are looking to get this hoodie, I would definitely buy now before prices go up. And um, yeah, that really all needs to be said about this hoodie. So the Fear of God Stretch Limo Hoodie. What'd you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion, like and share for that YouTube algorithm. And last, but certainly not least, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.